should probably put like a cuter jumper on for this, but I'm just gonna keep this jumper on. Hello my lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time here, hello. Hi, my name is Melissa, or Missa. Welcome. This is... what? Today, as mostly usual on this channel, I'm gonna put makeup on. Feel like we're getting the mojo back. Makeup is on my face, like dramatic makeup. All things good. We're using my two, well I've got three blend buddies, but we're using two of them. My blends and my surge for this video because I don't play my blends enough and I feel like I need to keep talking about these palettes because they're excellent and it is an indie brand and you should all know more about them if you don't already. And I'm also using a little Shadow Moon Cosmetics Glitter which is also an indie brand. Look at me! Being real indie! Wow! Okay, so we're going to do this eye look here. A wee bit of drama, a bit of red and green, didn't mean to go so Christmassy with it, but there we are. And uh, this is what we're going to do, so if you want to join me on this journey of makeup, then keep on watching. Okay, I am going to plick, plick, I'm going to plick a black from one of the palettes, doesn't really matter which. I think they're both probably the same. Who knows? I mean, they might not be, but I actually use a different black to start off on this. I use my Beauty Bay Bright Matte Black, and then I was like, I don't want to use this palette because it doesn't have the shades I want in it, so moved over to the Blend Bunnies. Um, hopefully I'm on screen. I like this angle because then I can have my mirror right in front of me, and I don't have to try and do makeup holding a mirror, which is a nightmare for me. Pull that under a bit. Oh, my nose is running. My nose always runs when I put makeup on. Daniela says something about it being the powder. I've not got any powder on. Apart from this black one that I'm putting on right now. Does that count? And then I'm just gonna squish this out a bit. I think that's the technical term. One of these wee poise brushes. I quite like them. Especially the face brushes. I love not being in focus as well. I think that really helps with a video. I need to set my camera settings differently because it always wants to focus. I think it's focusing on the background. Let me see if I can change it. Hold on. Right. I've asked it to focus on my face. Will it? I don't know. I know nothing about technology. I don't know how to work it. Nah. See, it's not even working. Anyway, squashing this black shadow around and then I took my Surge and the shade Grunge, this one here is so nice. I definitely wanted this very, very like red, orange, yellow, not purple, pink, yellow. So it's kind of like still letting me do a sunset -y look but keeping the colours a lot more like reds and oranges and yellows. I actually think I'm gonna need to move the camera, pop this around yawn edges. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely like proper doing a Melissa look, but it's still slightly different to my usual sunsets, isn't it? Just let me have this one, okay? I'm getting back into the swing of things. Woke up today in a hyper mood. Don't know why it just happens. I honestly think there might be something wrong with my brain. I'm either like, mm, or I'm like, mm. yeah, that's me. Uh, also, sausage was sleeping on my pillow and then the door went and he freaks out when the door goes and runs under the bed and he scratched my face. And I don't even care because I love him, so what ifs. Right, now I've done that, I picked up blends and I took vexed this dark red here because I thought that's perfect. I don't usually use two palettes in one video. I don't really like doing it because I don't like thinking oh if you want to recreate this look you need to buy these two palettes but then I forget people like I follow makeup tutorials and use other stuff like I use what I have so whilst I try not to do it often I think I can do it more than I do it because actually lots of people put more than one palette together to play with them and maybe I need to stop worrying about it and just dragging this out a bit and still taking it quite low 
because I did have this like out as normal but then I decided to kind of cut it up a bit sharper and I think it actually looks quite cute so still taking it low though because it means you can just clean it up rather than add to it then I took the shade right beside it this red one self love pop this on I just want to say massive thank you to Debbie Debbie if you're watching uh, McDonald's McDonald's delivery for dinner tonight thanks to Debbie how nice was that uh, I'm gonna get it after this it's gonna be my celebration for finishing this makeup look so I'm very excited about 20 chicken nuggies and the cats love love chicken nuggets let me tell you I need a different brush right then I dipped into I think barley oh this orange and then I took serendipity this yeah it's like a green yellow it's like a dark green mustard yellow and I thought it wasn't gonna work for this look but it actually does um, but let me put the orange on first I also tried to on this side keep this eye look small like just to the end of my eyebrow didn't work but I wasn't gonna stop me my creativity and like change it. I was like, do you know what, Melissa, if that's what your hand's telling you to do, just do it. I love these palettes so much. Like the quality is just phenomenal. I keep saying it. If I could collab with a brand, it's gonna be Beauty Bay or it's gonna be Blend Bunny. I mean, it's gonna be neither because I'm nobody, but you know what I mean? Like, if I could, Beauty Bay or Blend Bunny. Right, then I'm grabbing that mustardy shade. Just gonna whack that on with this nice big chubby brush. I do feel a bit cheeky like I am just doing a Melissa Sunset look here. Ooh, imagine. It is my channel, like I can do what I want. <laughs> oh, do you know what I got today in the post? The most awfully worded product in the world, Cronzer. Right? I'm gonna have to use that today. So I don't know if I'm gonna film my base though. Probably won't. Uh, then I'm gonna go in Shocked, which is this neon yellow. The cat is just loafing down on the ground and it's the cutest thing ever. I've got to say Potato is a 10 out of 10 loaf. He can loaf better than better than anyone. Sausage never loafs. Potato always loafs. I don't know why I'm telling you this. He just looks cute. Right. That's my base colours on. Obviously, it looks garbage, doesn't it? But whilst through the magic of YouTube, I'm going to watch something. Probably true crime. I'm so excited. I can upgrade my iPad soon. Which is weird because I feel like this is still like really brand new to me. I know it's not, but anyone wants to buy an iPad I'm gonna get a new one yeah I'm gonna watch some true crime blend this out and then we'll move on to the, the the like more standout part of it I really keep looking at this line and thinking it's not blended and I feel like on camera it looks really harsh but I feel like in real life it looks pretty good but I'll go and I'll work on that don't worry I will work on that, but that's like it's not super mad. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie, right? I'm gonna take some micellar water and I really kind of just carved it up. Ooh. Oh wow, was that too high? That might have been too high. Can you hear his exhaust? 
Have you ever heard something so cool? I am making it worse. It's fine, I'll take my photo from the side, like I always do. I'll work on the blend when my base is on, like I feel like I can make it look better then. Uh, I'm going to take P. Louise in 0 0.5 to carve this, if I can find my brush, which I've just found by the magic of using my eyes. And I asked on the sausages, should I do a halo or should I do a swoopy look like Tia does? And they said swoopy. So that's what we're doing. And I'm just gonna do a rough shape. I just kinda go for it, to be honest. There's no point hesitating. Just go for it. So I'll do like a rough guide. And then I'll look in the mirror and be like, that does not match, and then I'll just match it up. So I'll just take my time now trying to match it up. Right, that looks a tad bit better. I need to remember this brow isn't on yet, so the distance is a bit further than this side. Anywho, what I did then was I took the shade Limitless, this green shim shim from Surge. I'm just using this as a base because I am going to put obviously glitter over the top. I was actually going to use a different product. I was going to use a shimmer that Daniela sent me, like a loose pigment. But then I decided at Shadow Moon Cosmetics, she sent me a bunch of glitters recently. And I thought this green one was really pretty, so... I decided to use that one instead, uh, which is good and bad because it's gorgeous but loose glitter, my lord, it is so messy in it. <laughs> I could still like feel it falling off my eye onto my leg um, as I go but that's alright. See I'm just using this as a wee base all over, this is probably an absolutely stunning shimmer. Like, well, it is a really stunning shimmer if you like these kind of khaki greens. But I'm not really trying to pack it on or make it look excellent because, once again, it's just a base. No big deal. I really love these colours, but they do feel very, like, wintery to me. I don't know if, if you would agree or not. And then, right, I will blend this a wee bit first I think that would actually yeah, be the better idea so I'll use a bit of Lux from the blends oh my heart is palpitating probably because I'm using greens green really is <sighs> my least favorite color <laughs> but I'm trying to use it more so I know people really love green and I know it's not as bad as I make it out to be. I'm just blending that a wee pinch because I'm actually going to... I'll probably blend it more when the glitter's on. Oh, I've not put the lid in my Pee Louise base. <laughs> don't want that drying up. Daniela sent me her spare peaches and cream glitter glue, so that's what I'm using. Do you know what I think of it? It's very hard to squeeze out the tube. There we go. But, I mean, it's got glitter adhesive properties. It's sticking glitter on my face. And I'm going to cover pretty much everything that we did in the glitter glue. So yeah, this is the glitter in Miami from Shadow Moon Cosmetics. I've got like a chartreuse glitter from Shadow Moon that I just adore. And she sent me a bunch more like I said, and my goodness, they are so beautiful. Like, this is just stunning. A lot of my green sausages would love this glitter, I think. I don't think they're, like, very pricey either. Which is good. I'm trying not to get it in my eyeball. Not really taking it all the way to the lash line because... I'm going to put liner on anyway, so I don't really need to like 
get that covered. Like, come on. There's so much there's glitter everywhere now. But to be honest, I don't really mind. As long as it doesn't go in my eyeball. I'm going to use my Juvia's Place liquid liner to do liner. You'd never have guessed it if I hadn't said it, would you? And this is going oh pretty high up, I would say. Right, then I took uh, Lush, which is a very dark matte green, very dark, and then a little bit of Alive, which is a weird green, and it's gorgeous. I like weird, ugly, khaki, pooey greens. I just don't like bright primary greens, and I know you don't get that. I know it's not a real thing, but you know what I mean. I don't like the bold bright greens. Okay, so just, yeah, but I mean, do they match? No. Then I took, of course, Sheen in Mellow and I did a very thin line, just to, just to define it a little more. Use my Primark Primer water spray it in, you probably shouldn't do that. I do it. Haven't self-destructed yet. Oh, I see this one goes whoop and this one goes whoo. Whoop, whoo. Again, I'll take it from the side. <laughs> it's fine. What are you going to do? I'm going to take this surge and this saucy neon green the inner corner. To be honest, it kind of gets covered up by my liner work. Anyway, I mean, this isn't perfect, but I've definitely done worse eye makeup in my life. I might put a bit more glitter here and up here. Imagine doing loose glitter after you'd done your base. That would just be a recipoir for disaster. Right, I'm gonna clean up. Oh, I almost spilt that. And then we'll do, I'm gonna clean up, put my base on, and then we'll do the lower lash line together on the other side. So I'll be back. I need to go and get some sellotape to get this loose glitter off my face. Oh, I decided to go for like cake face. I've got very full cover. It doesn't even look that insane on camera. I've got a lot of makeup on my face. Like trust me. Trust me. Okay, I'm going to take black. I've realised I probably should have done this before I put my base on. But whatever. Pop it under here, tapping off the brush, hoping not to get too much fallout. Will we? Won't we? My mirror is very far away from me. Drag it. Dune, make a mo- oh. I thought I got an exciting email there. It's not, it's a bill. <laughs> Drag it down. A smidge. Oh, my eyeliner. Too Faced Killer Liner in khaki, what's it called? Killer Camo. It's such an incredible shade of green. This is the kind of green I like, this like camo colour. Like look at it over here, I've done two layers of it. Ah, oh, come on. And then I'm going to take some Lux and Remedy. Shut up. I decided to blend out with green down here. Oh no, I've realised I've made a Christmas look. Red and green. Ugh. And then more of my sheen liner. Slip that in the wee gap. That's what she said. I always put this on. I do stuff like this quite messy because I can clean it up very easily. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Just lashes, right? Just lashes. They don't match at all, do they? I'm just going to throw my tatty lashes on. This is my velour lash glue. It's the best one. I will die on this hill. I've used these lashes like 700,000 times, so they are probably due to be 
retired soon and I'm gonna put that lash on the outside corner not at all connected to my lash line I'm gonna do it really pulled up see like where my natural lashes are because I want more of a cat eye shape for this look press my own lashes up so I put lash glue on my lashes because then you can just stick them up into the falsies there we go, now we're talking! Now we're talking about we lash on! Come on! Um, it's coming together, it's not uh, my finest look, but I do feel like I am starting to get my mojo back. And that is what we want to see. I'll do the other one, put a lip on, then we'll be done. We'll be done. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that actually, now the lash is on. Right. I'll be back. Well, the wig is on and you know what that means. Either I need to wash my hair or I can't be bothered with my hair. Both is the real answer. My makeup's done. Lips are Makeup Obsession Lip Liner and Vivid Hot Lacquer in Tees because I wanted to do a big nude lip to match. I was going to use Melt Golden and then I thought, don't do it, Melissa. I'm pretty pleased with how this came out. Uh, it looks, looks alright. Uh, I love that glitter, it is kind of getting everywhere, but I really think it's so pretty. And I do, I don't mind reds and greens together done right, I think I've gone slightly Christmassy with it. But, c'est la vie, this is the look. What do you think? I just love my Blend Bunny palettes and if you really want them, I would say get them, because they're excellent quality. Um, comparable, but better than Beauty Bay. So Beauty Bay are excellent, but I'd say Blend Bunny are better. But if you can only get the beauty base, get the beauty base. Do you know what I mean? Like any of them. They're all good. The cats are going ballistic. Anyway, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video from me. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what to do. Very good at taking orders. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to become a Patreon, join the Sausage Family. The link is down below. And with that, I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. A lovely evening, a lovely afternoon. Don't know when this video is going up. And I will catch you on the flip side. Bye!